Um, in the last video I made, I, I may have implied somehow that I was choosing not to be a Muslim because I wanted to keep my YouTube channel, which is not the truth. Matter of fact, the reason why I'm not a Muslim or a Christian or a Jew or anything is um, because I have issues around organized religion. I just do, and that's part of the reason why I am where I am today making these videos. It's part of my own therapy, really. I noticed that there were some people who commented things like, hey, look, Muslims don't need you. This is what said. Muslims don't need you. Worry about your own faith. Convert to Islam while you can. And I, I, I see that point, but my question is, if every time a non-Muslim comes to help a Muslim and reaches his hand out to help, do you say, don't help? I would rather have you just convert. And to go for an extreme example, imagine George Galloway, someone who's really making a difference. Um, and he comes to a meeting with a bunch of Muslims, and here he is trying to save the lives of all these Palestinians. And someone says to him, George, stop working with the Palestinians. Stop trying to save the lives of these Palestinians and get them free. Just work on yourself. Become a Muslim. Stop this. We don't need you. God will take care of us. Allah will provide for us. We don't need your help. Convert. Worry about your own soul. That makes me so angry when people say that. And I'm thinking, why, is it, why does it make me so angry? And I realized, see, I used to ask this question, why is it that God doesn't get involved? It makes me not believe, you know, there's problems all over the world, people are dying, and God doesn't get involved. Then I realized, I know why now. God doesn't get involved. Well, someone says, you know, the, 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 the wristwatch thing, God could never create a wristwatch. God could only create the humanity and all of the tools that humanity needs and the desire and the intelligence to create a wristwatch. God didn't create the wristwatch. God created everything that created the wristwatch. And it's somehow by creating the man and the land and the desire that that's somehow less than creating a wristwatch. So here's an, another example of that. 9-11 happens. Um, Iraq, Iraq, the tragedy, you know, America going in there and killing all these people. Um, these floods and all these things that happen and God doesn't intervene. Why didn't God intervene? And I know now why God didn't intervene. Because God, same thing with the watch. God doesn't come down and pluck people out of rivers and save them. God uses God's creations to save people. So there's children starving all over the world. Why isn't God helping? God is helping. God provided enough food for everybody on the planet. We are all God's agents working on behalf of God. And we know there's starving people out there. We know we could help them. And why would God come down and help? when we won't even help our own people. God's given us everything we need, everything we needed to build the wristwatch and the desire to build the wristwatch God gave us. So now God gives us everything we need to help our brother out, to help our sister out, to save the starving children, to stop the bombings, to stop the killing, to stop the hate. It's all there. God gave it to us. Why won't God, why won't you come to the rescue? I did come to the rescue. I came to the rescue. It's that little voice in your ear that whispered to Bill Clinton, why don't you stop the genocide in Africa? And he still hates himself today. He said a quote was the biggest regret of his life, not going in there to help. We all have that little whisper. One, one ear, God's whispering and saying, help the children, help the starving. If you, and mine is, hey, you're a non-Muslim. Uh, Muslims are getting a really hard time right now. Why don't you just reach out? Be a good neighbor. Little whisper there. You know, and then other people get this one, buy yourself a new car. You know, who cares that they're starving over there? Buy yourself this. Get yourself that. Think about you. And then, and then some people, when you try to help them, they say, no, God's going to help me. But how else is God going to help you other than sending humans? Humans are the agents on earth to help each other. So uh, um, I think we need each other. And I think if you're a Muslim um, and a Christian comes to help you, it shouldn't be your goal to try to convert them. If they convert, that's great. But why can't you just be friends? 
And I think for almost all my Muslim friends, that's not a problem. <clears throat> but there are a few. <clears throat> anyway, if I ever decided I was going to become a Muslim, I wouldn't not become a Muslim because I'd have to shut down my channel. That would be crazy. If I felt a religious calling for any faith, I wouldn't let anything get in my way. So, um, but it would be true. My channel, <laughs> if I was a Muslim, there would be all these skeptical people about Islam who come to this channel who would look at it and say, yeah, he converted. He was a Muslim anyway. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, all my words become worthless to them. And also, if God came down and raised his hand down and revealed him or herself to us, not only would we be off the hook for doing what it is we need to do with our fellow humanity, but also we'd lose our faith. With God invisible, we have to decide whether or not we have faith. If God showed himself to everybody, and we all saw him, faith would be non-existent. Not only would we not be required to do the right thing or the wrong thing in our lives, but there would be no onus for faith. There would be no need for faith. God would be like concrete in front of you. So, so here I want God to come down, save people, and show himself. And when he does that, what, what ends up happening? I'm off the hook for actually living my life and making choices. And I'm also off the hook for faith, which is something that has to live in my head and my heart. Um, so why would God come down and reveal himself and ruin the two most important things that people have in life? Faith and the desire to help humanity. Let me know what you think.